Man cave, nerd lair, geek domain, you decide. What happens in the man cave stays in the man cave. Hey, what's up YouTube? Jerry here. Uh, need you guys to help me make a decision. I decided to post it as a video instead of just running off and buying a bunch of crap and then uh, hearing about it in the comments that I made a stupid decision. <laughs> so uh, the question right now is I have a 590 GTX Hydro Copper Classified. It's liquid cooled. Um, the things we know now, at least I, I didn't know when I purchased it, was the 590 GTX, you can't overclock it because you can't push the voltage up anymore and it's already running pretty much at its maximum clock on both memory and the GPU. Um, it just isn't really effective because it only has 3 gigabytes of memory between the two GPUs and running the 5760 by 1080 across all the surround. Um, just does, doesn't work that well at like this super high settings in Battlefield and in Flight Simulator and stuff like that. So I want to I go with a setup that's more powerful than that because I figure I'm not really doing justice to the man cave computer just having the one card in there. So some of the options I've been looking at based on research is the 670 GTX and the 680 GTX. I'm going to all around just stay the hell away from the, the X90 versions of the cards like the 590 and the 690 because... Uh, after my experience with this one, I just really don't want to mess with them. Number one, EVGA is normally awesome, but I've contacted them about the 590 card. It was limited production. They didn't make a whole lot of them. They won't sell me another one. They acknowledge some of the issues with the card. Um, it doesn't work with the drivers very well because they really didn't go out of their way to try to optimize the drivers for the single card with onboard SLI. So I have problems with my affinity settings, and the card does a lot of wonky stuff that I don't see other cards doing. Um, the other thing is I have a friend who has a 580 GTX, actually he has two of them, they're on air cooling, and he's able to overclock them on air, uh, you know, a heck of a lot, and I can't overclock mine on water at all. Now granted, that's not a limitation of cooling, that's a limitation of the card itself, but still, his two 580s just stomp on my 590, because he, he has an identical setup to this, if you can believe it, I'll have, to, I'll have to do a video over there so you can see it, but he has the same exact three screens, we both bought them at the same time from Costco, and we both did man caves. Um, he has, uh, when he plays Dirt 3 with everything maxed out on high at 5760 by 1080, um, it looks liquid smooth. On my setup, it's smooth, but it is just a little bit hitchy. Um, I have a faster, newer generation CPU than he does. I have faster memory than he does. Everything except for the GPU I have is actually faster, and his computer just stomps on it. So that's kind of my cue to upgrade. Um, so it's obvious that the two 580s pretty much stomp on a single 590, even though looking at the paperwork, you wouldn't, you wouldn't think that's the case. Um, so anyways, let's get to the point. So my two options I'm looking at is either three of the 670 cards, which I have up here on Newegg right now. It looks like the 670 super clocked cards, they have four gigabytes of RAM, which I think is a huge plus for the surround gaming. Um, and I would get three of them, and I'd have them running three-way SLI. Uh, or the other option is I go for two 580 for the win plus cards, um, and those ones ha also have four gigabytes of memory. They're quite a bit more expensive. They're about $150 per card more expensive. So I would only get two of those. So the question is, do I go with two of the 580 for the win pluses, or do I go with three of the 570 GTX super clocked cards? Um, with the super clocked cards, since I have three with four gigs per, I would end up with 12 gigabytes of video memory. Honestly, I don't know how it works if they all get combined into one pool across all three cards. But So I would have more memory with that setup, but with the 580s, um, I'm thinking I would have a higher clock speed potential overall between the two. But honestly, I think the three 670s should stomp on the ladder. But then again, if I get the two 580s, I can throw two more in later on when the price of the cards come down, provided I can find the For the Win Plus editions. That seems to be the problem. Every time I buy a card, I can never find the matched cards when I get around to it. Uh, but So there are pros and cons to both. But from what I've been looking at the benchmarks on YouTube and just searching around on Google and Bing, is it looks like the like the two 580s just completely stomp a 590. I mean, just, just kill it. Not only that, but the 680s. Uh, just completely just destroy it. Like I was looking at one of the benchmarks um, for Alan Wake with all settings on high with two 680 GTXs, it was 150, or yeah, the 680s, it was 150 frames per second. And with a single 590, it was 50 frames per second. I was like, holy crap, a single 590 is supposed to be two 580s. And two 580s is fast as hell. So how the hell are the two 680s and SLI just like, you know, completely taking a crap on this? So. Uh, I haven't got all the details, so I figured, hey, I'll put it to a vote. 
So all you guys that are my subscribers and anybody watching these videos and have watched my other videos and have complained about the 590 or think it's a slow frame rate or anything, please chime in. I'd love to see your comments. Let me know if, if it was your money, what setup would you go with? Um, I'd like to go with water-cooled cards again if I could, but it looks like uh, looks like EVGA's water-cooled cards are actually really, really limited edition, so they're hard to get a hold of later on. So I'd like to go with air-cooled cards to start, and then later on maybe I'll convert them over water to overclock them further. Um, but from what I see, the gains just really don't justify it, and I'm not worried about noise because, as you know, I already have 24 fans in this case and the loud-ass air conditioner in here. So it doesn't really make sense for me to buy anything to reduce the noise. So uh, chime in. Let me know what you think. If you think I'm uh, I'm an idiot for going NVIDIA again, then hey, chime in. Tell me what you think. You know, ATI equivalent with uh, iFinity and Crossfire, and you know, uh, you know, be sure to post some links. Give me some data. I really want to see what the consensus is across all my subscribers of what proper video setup this thing really should have. And I really want to stay away from the X90 cards. Just to reiterate, uh, just because they're such limited edition and they have such a high power draw for one slot and they just don't have the same overclocking potential. I have an Asus Maximus, uh, I think it's a four, Asus Maximus four or five motherboard that uh, supports up to four uh, separate 16X uh, PCI Express 3.0 lanes or bus buses. So why not uh, you know, go with more cards versus just a single card? that's like maxed out. I don't need eight way sly with a bunch of X90 cards. I'm not going for like, oh my God, this is stupid ridiculous. I want something that'll really capitalize on the 5760 by 680 resolution, or sorry, 5760 by 1080 resolution. Sorry, I'm half asleep right now. As you guys may or may not know reading my comments, I just passed a kidney stone. So uh, that's been a, a really crappy five days of my life, but I wanna get back to the man cave videos. I figured just to kick things off since I wanna do some upgrades, I'd put it to you guys. Let me know, what should I get? Leave your comments, uh, send me messages, uh, go ahead and post video reviews if you know of other videos that do benchmarks and stuff on cards you think I should get. I would really like to just uh, make this decision here in about a week. And I'm planning on making the purchase through Newegg. So hopefully if it's, if it's stuff available from Newegg, that's what I would prefer. So you can link Newegg stuff in your comments if you'd like. I know you can't actually leave links, but you know, just, just, just give me the name of the item and I'll go look it up. And, uh, as soon as I'm done, I'll go ahead and do a follow-up video where I order the cards and I'll go ahead and install them. We'll do some benchmarking before and after just so I can uh, show how much of an increase I get over the 590 that's in there right now. And a couple of you have inquired about purchasing the 590 that I already have in there, the Hydro Copper. I'm looking to get about $400 for it, but you know, it's everything's negotiable. If you're interested, let me know. I may just put the card on eBay and link it in my next video. But uh, obviously I won't be using it anymore once the new cards show up. So it'd be cool if I could uh, sell it to somebody out there that could put it to use. Maybe somebody that already has another 590 and wants to do four-way SLI on two slots. But anyways, let me know. Thanks again for watching my videos. Please see all my other videos. I have tons of them now. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Please share it with your friends and family. I'm really trying to grow my channel. Uh, the more viewers and the more subscribers I get, uh, the more motivated I get to create more videos and more content for YouTube. All right, hey, take it easy, guys. Uh, look forward to seeing what you guys think.